Hello, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a Catholic College Student Survival Guide um, for going into your freshman year of college and also just in general um, for anybody who wants to practice their Catholic faith um, in college. So, here I am going to be giving you some things to bring and then things to do. Make sure you take some notes because these are important. Number one, we're talking about things to bring. First and foremost, bring your Bible. And then, don't just bring it, but crack it open and use it. Um, make sure that you dive into the Word, because it is a beautiful place to spend some time. Um, an important thing to have um, as a Catholic is a time spent with God in His words. So this is a way for God to speak to you, um, and sometimes it can be hard to hear Him um, in your day-to-day -day life, and so taking that time to connect with Him through this is a really great thing. Then number two, bring a rosary um, and use it. Pray the rosary. Bring a few, have them around you so that you can just grab them when you need it because um, this is like your lifeline to your Holy Mother and so you should definitely call her every so often um, and spend a decade or two with her. Then um, this one is a really important thing to bring because in college you are going to be questioned for your faith. Um, it may come up subtly, it may come up in a big way, um, but it's important for you to be prepared. And so the Catechism of the Catholic Church is a great resource for you um, as far as knowing what the Church teaches on controversial topics in general. Um, most answers you can find somewhere in here. Um, and so you can look it up online and then figure it out. But it's always good to just dive in and read this sometimes too. Describing the beauty of different sacraments um, and why we believe what we believe. So, do that. Then, in case you're getting bored um, from all of your textbook reading, you should bring some spiritual books to fill that extra time that you have. But seriously, bring like one or two. So I just have a stack of ones that I'm planning to read. So I have Interior Freedom, In the School of the Holy Spirit, and Searching for and Maintaining Peace. Then there's also Into His Likeness, Story of a Soul, which is next on my to-read list, um, about St. Teresa of Lisieux. And then Come Be My Light, um, by Mother Teresa. Um, so, reading about the saints and the lives of the saints is a great way to um, connect to God um, and get through some rough times sometimes because saints have been there, done that, um, and we can live by their example. So then, um, you should bring holy water because it's great to have something to bless yourself with in your room, right? So, unscrew the cap, take a finger. Bless yourself, okay? Um, and it's kind of cool just to be able to explain what this is to the friends that you have over. So, yeah, put it on your nightstand and then use it every night. It's a great way to just bless yourself, have a little centering moment. Then, finally, bring some medals with you. Um, so, for me, the three that I have on right now are St. Benedict, Miraculous Medal, which are my two that I recommend for all Catholics. Like, if you're going to have any medals, these two are the ones. And then I also have St. Therese of the Sea on today. So, get your saints on and bring them with you to college. Then, the second half of this video is things to do. So those were things to bring. Now we're going to actually talk about what you need to do while you're at college. Okay, number one, and this is the most important thing, if you do nothing else, if you bring nothing, if you do nothing else at college, find your church in the first week and then go to Mass on Sunday, okay? Go to that student Mass because it is such a good place to meet other Catholics, to grow in community, and also to fulfill your obligation as a Catholic to go to that Mass. Um, so go to Mass, meet people, participate, but go to Mass. Don't procrastinate because you say, oh, I'm going next week. I'm going next week. Well, now it's December and you haven't gone once. It's a steep hill from the first week if you don't go. So going the first week is hard, but it's much harder if you wait. So just do it. 
All right. So then my next advice for you is find a Catholic organization um, on campus and be a part of it. Um, participate in the activities that they have. If it's a Bible study, if there's like a um, masses during the week that they have, student masses, um, anything like that, go. If they have a cookout, go to that. Um, usually there's stuff in like the first week for freshmen um, that's just really inviting. Um, so go and partake of that and become involved. Get to know those people because they um, could be lifelong friends for you. Um, so the two orgs that are on most campuses are either Newman or Focus, um, which are both really solidly Catholic, um, great things to look out for. So they're there to support you in your Catholic faith and be a resource to you, so use them. Then the third thing that I have for you to do is develop a prayer life. So decide what your prayer life needs to look like for school. And it doesn't have to be big. Um, starting small is okay. So whether it's on Sunday, I will go to Mass. Um, at some point during the week, I'm going to have 10 minutes to read my Bible every morning, every night. I'm going to pray the Rosary on Fridays, and on Saturday, I will go to Bible study, or whenever they have that. You know, set some goals for your spiritual life. Um, maybe dive into a spiritual reading book every morning. Um, but have a little bit of something so that you have a source to give you that fuel to get you through the semester. Um, then my next advice for you to do um, is get involved in your church um, and any other organizations like that. Um, so whether that's lecturing at Mass, being an usher at Mass, um, helping out with soup kitchen kind of stuff or like if there's a church breakfast helping out there seeing what positions need to be filled um, and helping them because it's good for you go volunteer that kind of thing and then finally find some Catholic friends and so you don't have to be BFFs right away don't get stuck on that like you're not gonna be BFFs with people right away at college you have to get to know each other intentionally so Go to those Catholic organizations because you're going to find some Catholic friends there, hopefully. If you go to church, you're going to find some Catholic friends there. Um, so being in those places will help you develop those relationships, um, which will sustain you through your college career. And so, with all those things to bring, and with all that advice, I want to wish you good luck on your college journey. Stay connected to God through college. It's hard. But it's a beautiful thing um, to be Catholic and in college and living out that witness of faith. So, God bless. Bye.